<laughs> I don't. Is that a song? <sighs> You've never heard that, no? I don't know what you're talking about. Genuinely not even messing around. Um, we've just split into Kayfode, um and he's 28 players with God, um, which will be fun. Um, Pro Elves. Oh. Party Ops is like the first option because if you're at the top right and lose the re rolls, you can draw it. Heard from your street fight. Uh, oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, Hellboy's gotten a little overwhelmed um, with fan love there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kfo very popular mm, with the ladies. Hellboy, the end, please. Well, and, and Hellboy. Bozzadron Mike, good morning. Um, <laughs> Mill, hello. Black Light Man, hello. Guido, how you doing? Hello, Guido. Uh, Black Lightman. Um, yeah, I I, 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 I enjoy playing the magic, um, and it's certainly not a staple of the of the stream. Um, but it, but it was actually really funny. It was a really entertaining thing to do. I found it hilarious. We d you didn't, uh, you didn't say anything. I wasn't what? doing anything. Oh right. I didn't know if you'd want to do it. It's magic. Um, it was. Um, I, I was just because because I was just sat there playing and I was like, well, eh, fuck it. Let's just press play and see what happens. Um, and twenty five people tu tuned you in. You weren't on Discord, were you? So. Uh, not to start with, um, and then Holy, and Holy Crusader and, um, um, what was it, uh, Stolen XP, who are apparently very, very good at this sort of stuff, um, um magic, magic, yeah, magic, um, oh. uh, Holy Crusader came into the chitter chatter, um, and was telling me all the things I was doing wrong, because I thought I was like, blithering along going, everything was fine, and it turned out that I was actually very new at this game you know like a new player playing blood bowl thinks they're actually really good um and actually they're shit um but they don't understand why they're shit it was like being a new player at blood bowl again um and and it's very bizarre anyway anyway it's a bit harsh why is harsh well a new player might be might be good might be a tabletop expert or something or Mm. Something like that. Something like that. Blackburn, uh, big lad. Robbo, she's throwing. Street, good morning. Killjoy's arrived. Hello, Killjoy. Fella, hope he has resubbed. Oh, just behind me there. 20, 20 months. Bloody hell. Thank you very much. Parage, hello. Black, Blackburn's really good at Blood Bowl. Um, yeah. It's oh, not belly, just. Thank you. Um, you're underselling it today. It's not just champ ladder, of course, because uh, I've got my uh, I've got my Goxidal tendencies rebel match. Uh, oh, have you? What time? Twelve thirty, ish. Okay. Oh, awesome! Awesome. It's in calendar. Okay, I forgot to look because um, I haven't looked. How do you tell if you're subbed at the moment? On I'm looking at the Twitch and. I did that because it came up with a like a prompt. Mm. But what if you what if you get you can't see it visually you can't see if you're subbed can you? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not seeing it anyway. Whatever. <sighs> Mike <laughs> says I've got to teach you how to stop letting black orcs die. When did that happen? Tuesday. Yeah. So um, 1200 underworld what played the hell? played 1700. Um, orcs. Um, spoiler alert: the scoreline was four-one, and he killed killed a black orc, fucked over a blitzer. He's dead as well. Um, missed next game someone else. Um, it's just ruined. It's all ruined. It's like the team's just gone backwards. Luckily, we're still in tier five next season. Thank God. Um, How do you know that? Because I'm about seventh. <laughs> so the chance of winning the division now, I think, I don't think it's even possible. Oh, in OCC. Yeah. Um, and I think, I think the points is uh, it's something like 16 top, 15, 15, 
and then there's four of us or three of us on 11, 11, 11, 11. Um, so um, it's fine. Oh, and it was during your own drive that this happened. Oh, yeah, no. he, he got a blitz um, on my drive and then just turned one dead black orc, just dead. Apothecary, no, he's still dead, mate. Um, was what happened there. Podiopsis is keen on abolishing time zones. Well, if you live in the UK, yeah, sure, why not? If you don't live on that particular, you know, um, meridian, do I mean meridian? That line of longitude. Mm. Um, then you wouldn't, would you? Because you'd have to reset your boiler. Boiler? Hmm. Because all the times would be wrong, wouldn't it? Uh. She was going, right, at 9 pm, time to get ready for work. If you were, <laughs> I don't know, in Australia, then. Uh, or, or, um, you know, whatever, then um, you'd have to reset everything. Mm. Like the heater and that. And your time in the car. Mm. They're not your phones much these days. They do it themselves, don't they? Yeah, phones are quite clever like that. Smart. Tusfoss says he's got the odd soft spot for pro elves. Well, buggy bit at the end of the game. Um, kind of crazy, but still with some imbalances to make it interesting. Hmm. I for me that el elves is elves. Elves is elves. Elves is elves. Elves is elves. Um, you know, one elf very much the same as the next, isn't it? Pretty much. Destronov, incredulous that we're on. We're on most every Saturday morning, to be fair, Destro. Usually on on a Saturday. Uh, are the wood elves getting on then? Um, well, yeah, Roustful is pretty quick, huh? Fant Fox is here. Hello, Fant Fox. And Ronnie's arrived. Hello, Ronnie. Um, you haven't got an elf like uh, Kfo's, uh which I don't want to. Oh, dear, that's hard to say. Nibnenifindel. Nibnenifindel. Well, sha la 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 I think so. That's what I was going for. Um, oh, he's got a bit of pace as well, hasn't he? So that's a movement nine catcher and another one. Yeah. Rousefield's looking down his aquiline beak at them, though, isn't he? Only, only movement nine, then. <laughs> Remember when I had a movement eight orc blitzer and it was just dizzyingly fast. He was just like a blur. Killjoy says Andy's playing Magic the Gathering Arena 24-7. Why Why didn't you say something? I don't like it when you, you get all furtive and do things by yourself. It's unsettling. Um, I don't, generally. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, um, I gather from Facebook, then, yeah. that Ava's... Um, Dipping her toe back into the world of work, oh, yeah. meaning that, that you were um, you were looking after Megatron this week, weren't you? Yeah, I was press ganged back into work, into uh, babysitting duties. Yeah. Did you pay you? Like, here's a tenner and have anything out of the fridge you want. <laughs> no. Sadly. Oh, hold on. What? There's a lot of gathering around that prone elf. There's bit a bit of gathering around, maybe more than you'd 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 want if you were the elf. Um, black black light man um, suspects you might be a vampire. You should look into that, mate. It's a thing. Have a good look at yourself in the mirror. Oh dear, uh, he's dead, Jim. Oh, he's still dead, Jim. Ooh. Well, at least what? Ooh. 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 Anyway, I'm going to stop saying ooh now. Ronnie's, Ronnie's doing something with Champs Ladder. Um, Ronnie tried Champ Ladder this season and did well with his Dark Elves, but then went against so many kill teams in a row, uh, it's putting him off. 
it's a draw back with Blood Bowl, isn't it? Well, got one and what I want to get, but it's a shame you've sort of basically finished him up. But, you know, it's this is champ ladder, it's not the end of the world, is it? Kayfo would have probably just laugh haughtily when, and when is the end of his thigh. When is the end of champ ladder this season, by the way? Does anyone know? Consult the Sears. Hello, Overlordy. Hmm. Killjoy, you've got an a moat for that. Um, someone said, by the way, uh, what? Uh, it wasn't someone. It was someone like. Um, there we go. Nobody's using emotes anymore. They're emotes yesterday's news. Uh, no. James, uh, I've got a school next to my name. When did I message? When I message, is that it? Yes, that's the sub icon, James. Um, and it changes depending on how subbed you are. Um, uh, so the longer you're subbed, the, the, the more the icon changes. Um, it starts off as a school, which is one to two months. At three months, you get the both down symbol. Uh, for months three, four, and five, you get that. For six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, you get the push. Um, then you get uh, one year plus is the Fed stumbles. stumbles. I, knew, and then, I knew that. Yeah. And then at two years, two years, which no one's managed yet, uh, it's uh, it's the uh, power symbol. Yeah, so if, if everybody subs now, we'll get a two-year. Um, <laughs> pretty soon, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. In fact, I th I think I think the leading subbers are on about twenty something months, so we've not got long left. Well, if, uh, Andy, if people you know, because I've just done it, haven't I? And, who, yeah. and I'm I'm one of the first subs to us, because duh, obviously. Yeah. That's right. Good point. Though. Good point. Twenty one months. So, um, in uh March, April, in mid, in in late June. Late June. Late June. There you go. That's something to look forward to. My house will be finished in late June. Will it? Because uh, the eagle eyed amongst you will have noticed, though it is hard to spot because it's kind of not really. Um, the cosmetics aren't finished. The boxing in isn't done yet. And it won't be for a bit. Is I've got a new boiler. Oh, so, yeah. builders yeah. have been round. New boiler this week. That's started. Uh, the bricks arrive on Tuesday. Oh, awesome. Fan Fox. I know, right? So, what was this I heard that you've been playing Underworld? What was that? I played against them. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. Wasn't playing as them. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, will it stop smoking by Jane Killjoy? I've, had very, I've smoked very little this week, in fact. Because <coughs> I've had a cold, but I'm nearly better now. Hooray! Well, you were here last weekend, weren't you? No. Oh, you weren't? No. I was streaming by myself. I had a code. Code? Oh. Bunged up does and had a code. Oh dear. <sighs> to be honest, Positron Mike, I wish he was there too, because if he'd have had Fez, that nasty wouldn't have happened. Uh, why did I choose to leave them prone? Because otherwise, if I stand them up, they're just going to get hit. Um, so there's no point well, having them stood up. And with armor 7. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is... This is why um, there is the entirely false rumour that elves are just a bunch of uh, layabouts and a work shy. It's not that. It's strategic. You'll often see elves lying around on the job. Um, but it's intentional. Uh, Polyops, Polyops, it's a great question, but what's his goal? What's, what is uh, Kayfogd's um, actual mission um, on this drive? What does he want to do? Does he want to score turn two, turn four, turn six, turn eight? What, what, what is he trying to achieve? And I, and I think the answer to that question for me is he'd, he'd quite like to score on turn eight. So um, giving him a turn of two extra free hits where all he will do is just take them because he doesn't need to roll down the field um, is a bad move. 
Oh, hello. There's a bit of needle creeping in. A little bit, yeah. Well, you started it, to be fair. Yarlipon, good morning. Um, things are going fine. Uh, first game, we were playing against Kafo, who's, um, uh, who's frightfully, awfully, terribly good. Remind me, what, what, what's, what's Kafo, um, what, what's his, um, claim to fame? Why, why do I know who Kafo is? Because I do. I just can't remember why. <laughs> um, because he's, he's also very good, yeah. Um, no, but it, where, where has he cut his teeth? Is he a fumble champion, a tabletop tyrant? Uh, he what? knows, he know, yeah, he knows a lot of tabletop. He does play a lot of tabletop. He's, he was, he has been World One before. That was it. Yeah. That was it. That was it. That was it. That was it. Let's hope Purple Goo doesn't uh, buy a PC then, eh? <laughs> Absolutely. How's your, how's your boasting champ ranking going? How's that looking? Do we not mention that anymore? Uh, it's going all right. Not as well as it could. Not as bad as it might be. Not top so, three anymore, then. Um, well, I haven't, I haven't really done anything this year to try and change it because the race I've been playing this year um, uh, is um, Necro, and they're not the rankings for the Necros themselves isn't high enough to. Um, to do anything just yet. So you've not been playing Necro long enough to really make your mark? Correct, yeah. Right, okay. Bit like me with Underworld on uh, Champ Ladder. Yeah. Obviously going to be top, just haven't played enough games yet. Yeah, that's a good, good way. Yeah. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Blacklight was dabbling in High Elves yesterday in Open Ladder. Um... Very expensive high elves. Mm. Uh, yeah, and yeah, high elves are a successful team. O OCC has seen many a high elf champion. <coughs> well, they've seen me win it a few times, yeah. And oh, and Pid. Pidpad, yeah, Pidpad. Pidpad. Mm. Pidpad really is was who we were thinking of. You did, but Pidpad more, right? Mm. Um, Robbo, speaking of which, how is your brother? How is your brother? I haven't seen him for a couple of weeks. I wanted to give him a um, a big smiley um, smile about. Um, oh, you no idea either. Um, he'd be delighted to have the footballs going, eh? Yeah, they were lucky, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. He's had a cold. I've had a cold. Me and Dinesh have both had the same cold that Thursday uh, Thursday a week ago, call it call it ten days ago, mm. Thursday evening. We're both going for a pint tonight, it's Thursday night. I was like, feel very well. I, like, I don't feel very well. Let's not go for a pint then. And then Sunday, it was like, we've been like cough and spit the Flemish twins all week. Oh. No. I think so, yeah. Just going to throw this out here, right? Uh, there, is a, there is a chance that Foo's overcommitted a bit here. Well, that's the point. Is the, are the gifts on? Because yep. Distorter resubbed. So, first of all, Distorter, thank you very much. Um, I didn't notice um, playing last from Greg's either. Um, yeah, it did work. Have you refreshed? Me? No, Just Distorter. We did it last night. Ronnie misses Podfrey. Has he gone somewhere? He's still playing. How do you mean, Ron? Did you used to see him on a regular basis and now not so much? Is that is that what what you mean? So Blacklight asks, what would you say would be the first skill on a high elf um, lineman, block or dodge? Um, Hmm. I'd go block, but I've seen you do dodge before. I've, I've, yeah, you can do both. Um, it depends I where where it is. Either. Um, depends what team value you're talking about, because um, uh, initial team value block is probably probably slightly better because um, you've only got two block on the whole team, so it means you can fight a little bit. 
However, um, when you climb up team value, um, block, everyone else has got it, so it doesn't add the same value. Um, and there, therefore, um, dodge and wrestle really do more. Right. Kaifo riding the cusp of the uh, the clock there. Hmm. Very much. Yeah, that makes sense. So block block early doors, and later on probably dodge might might edge it. Horses yeah. for courses. I suppose also it depends a little bit environmentally on what your division's like. If it's a perpetual league, if you if you're in a division full of tackle players. Dodge, not so much, and block would be your boy. Other way round, other conclusion. Yeah. There we go. Good, excellent. Oh, right. Ronnie used to play in NAF tournaments a few years back, but had to stop because of work. And so he used to know um, Podfrey um, quite well, but um, doesn't seem as much as he used to. So, right, that's cleared that up. And Blackburn confirms Podfrey is playing up in Stockport. Yes. Is that last near Liverpool, isn't it? Stockport. Yeah, just below Manchester. Yeah. Yeah. I knew that. Awesome. Near Blackpool. Uh. Well, it's mm. have to be, wouldn't it? It'd have to mm. be. It'd have to be. Oh, Zorgar's arrived. Hello, Zorgar. How are you today? Nice to see you. That's the sort of name you can conquer universes with, isn't it? I think so. In fact, if we were sort of um, star faring, um, <sighs> oh, oh, double jeopardy! If we were if we were star faring, you know, you know, species, Zulgar and Zunk, you know, we could be generals of the, um, you know, the great rival fleet. Admirals, Admiral Zulgar warped into the system, Commander. You know, that. Yes, I like that. Any reports from the Western Marches, Zogar? Negative. We could be Russian or Portuguese. I was going wider afield, but yes, we could be Russian or Portuguese. Pozdrav. Blackburn recommends simply move to Stockport. His local league seems to be collecting top table top players. It's not fair. <laughs> Zulgar, I'm sure I've asked you this before, but I can't remember the answer. Where, where about in Portugal? Do you like Nando's? Well, that, you've jumped the gun a bit there, but that, that could have been a later conversation piece. Um, but no, I, I used to visit Portugal a lot, and um, just curious as to whereabouts you are. I used to go to um, uh, Carvoeiro, or near Carvoeiro, um, not a million miles away from Albufeira in Algarve. It's a very nice Portugal, I do like Portugal. My father, when he retired, was quite keen on retiring to Portugal. We had a difficult choice that my mum didn't want to go, so it was a case of uh, he could go, but she wouldn't go with him, you know, because oh, of the garden and because of grandma and all that. So he didn't, didn't do it in the end, but he did. Oh, what? That's him. That's fine. Oh. He's he's just been a dirty, cheating elf. Oh, yeah. Hooray! Was my dad a gangster? Oh, well. <laughs> Only on the weekend. <coughs> Nothing was ever proved, distorted. Nothing ever proved. Oh, McNaughton's here. Good morning, Mark. How are you? <laughs> Neptune Knights. What's set in space? We could have other. We could have Algarve afternoons where we just sort of sit around picking it away at feijoada, drinking sagres, and um. You know, all with our Cristiano Ronaldo posters in the background there. That would be good, wouldn't it? That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Uh, there's no point bobbling the ball. Sagres. Muy bueno. 
I suppose there is, because you never know where it's going to go. Distorters, mums in Madeira. Ah, nice. They make good cakes, cake then, don't they? I was doing something. Well, cake convention. But no, Madeira's near Portugal. Actually, is it near Portugal? Because it, it belongs to Portugal, Madeira. But it, it's not actually that near, is it? I can't remember. I'll have to look it up. Hoanshi Gooden Morgan. Um, Destronofas is um, Madeira a source. Um, no, it's a cake. Yes. Yeah. No, no, you, you do get Madeira sauce. I think it's a sauce with... Um, it's also a drink, isn't it? And the sauce gets its name from heavily featuring the drink in it. Um, I want to say Madeira is a bit like sherry. Yakis Day was in Lisbon only two short weeks ago. I've never actually been to Lisbon. That's That's much further north. I used to go on my jollies. Hmm. Ah, now, if you're in Portugal and want an aperitif, you can't go wrong with Madronha. Zorga, I say, get the Madronha out. Madronha, bloody good news, that. It's like tequila, but tastes much worse. Sign me up. Um, Madeira is the same as port wine. Yes, it is, isn't it? That's right. It's it's like sherry. Yes. Hellboy knows a song about Madeira. I know what about Amarillo. You're thinking of Amaretto. Amarillo's a place in um, America. Okay. Yeah. What's Italian? Uh, yeah, a polyopsis point now. It's gotten all very man's here, hasn't it? Ex yeah. Except for um, Woodard, <coughs> who's amusingly named the tree. <laughs> um, Who's, who's not all man's, which is a shame, because he's the only one who's really interested in doing that. Yes, I know. I, Am Amaretto and Amarillo are two distinct things. Andy just mixed them up. Stop press. It's all right. I'll ring Reuters and let them know. I'll be weeping like a willow. Yeah. It's important to to do that, though. Sweet, sweet Marie waits for me, is it? Is it Marie in that song? I've no idea. Well, you've given her for half our story there, haven't you? No, I... Oh, well, doesn't that sound smug, the pro-elves? When they did that little handoff there, it was like, hee-hee, ho-ho, ha-ha, look at us. Mm. Clap the clubs. Sweet Marie, yeah, that's it. Destro, how's, how's things over the village um, this fine March morning? Not too revolting, I hope. <laughs> On the other one now. Dirty fouling elves. You're all at it. Mm. You're, you're arguably ahead because you got the proper casualty that you've you've killed his best player. Both both your war ponsers are out. Um but he has also got a um one of the uh the uh, the uh, the uh, loner fellas has uh, been sent off. So you're both missing two players. You're down two war dancers but they may come back. So it's it's balanced. It's balanced. Um Yoso, good morning. Yoso asks how much T V down is Andy? Uh, uh, it was 90, it was not very much. Yeah, because although Cave Food's team's rather, uh, rather more developed, um, he's got very few players, so a lot of a lot of Cave Food's players are diluted by the undeveloped loners. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, not as much as it you'd look at first glance. 
are are pro elves. They're, they're slightly cheaper than wood elves, just they for are, per yeah. se, aren't they? As well, that's yep. also a factor. Yep. To be honest, to Podiopsis, though, would are the tree being stuck? Whilst it, yeah, sure, it looks it looks bad. It, if he'd still been mobile, um, I don't think he'd be in the centre of the action anyway. As Kafo would, would be knocking himself out to avoid him. Certainly, be you know four or five squares away with the ball at all times, just so that the tree couldn't get really stuck in. But yeah, he's not helping much, is he? Um, Black Lightman says, "Have you ever seen a Nort Blitzer with agility four leap and tackle?" Uh, um, didn't I have one in the best game of Blood Bowl ever, where we played 2,500 Dark Elves versus 2,500 Orcs? I'm pretty sure I had one like that. You might have had Strength 4, Agility 5, and what you describe. Yeah, that Blackburn makes a good point. Um, leap, leap is tremendous, but you don't have to use a lot of your movement allowance up, just sort of getting round so um, with movement sick it's not it's not it's not super hard i was dice blackburn but we overcame just with quality of strategy um i'd be all for that i mean you don't just want orcs to just all be piling on and mighty blow and guard do you let's have a bit of diversity there we go so I a different colour this morning? I suppose I'm possibly a little dark, am I? I don't think so. I look a little dark. Can't really help that. Oh yeah, you've gone. Where's your boiler gone? <laughs> New one. It's not on the Smaller. wall. Mm. There. New one. Don't forget mental fortitude. Absolutely, Blackburn. That was one of the. Uh, ow. That was uh, that was one of the key uh, weapons in our arsenal, wasn't it? Destronos' friends, uh, friend, Mr. Putov, said it very nicely. Um, the poor should only know how completely boring it is to be rich if no one is really poor. Well, look, you know, li living living in the village in the hinterland of, of your um, castle, is anyone really poor, really, you know, on a philosophical level? No, we're all rich. You can see the castle, for example, and go, aren't we lucky to live here in sight of that beautiful castle on that mountainside? You know, they can, on a hot day they can take the shoes and socks off and dangle their feet in the moat avoiding the piranhas obviously but could do that couldn't they um yost has pointed out that you did roused for the stupidly fast war dancer back that would be handy wouldn't it right about now ish yes yes it would for replays and guide videos <clears throat> <coughs> Street says he's assumed Goblin Fanatics can't use Leap. Uh, Street, look, moving Goblin Fanatics is complicated enough. I think if they had any other well, he's complications, it. I don't think that would happen. If they had other any other complications, they might never move at all. Antaria born. Good morning. I haven't seen you for a while. Are you well, my friend? <laughs> Machina points out, and then the Piranhas point out, aren't we fortunate to live in this here moat, in sight of that beautiful castle, and these plentiful supply of feet? Um, well, that was rather critical. Dropping the ball there, that's frightfully unfortunate. Because it's a very realistic possibility. Well, it's going to end nil-nil the half. I haven't got someone in scoring range, sadly. But um, it is it is nil-nil at the half, which is lovely. Well, that that was a spot look. It was just, it was just, that was just straight flat look, was it? Oh, yeah. oh, you don't even do anything, do you? It's done. Uh, Tess well, Foss I don't, has got a new blunder emote. Well done. Well, I got one That's of the war dancers back. 
That was very impressive. Are those, are those crowns to Sfos? Oh, he's been hit with two, two, um, two sleepy tires as well. So he's got he's minus four, and we're minus one. So a plus three. Do you know? Do you know what? That could this could this be too early to mention? Yes, well, dicing. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh dear, wouldn't want to wouldn't want to go there. Quiet composer's arrived. Hello, quiet composer. Nice bit of maths there. Hellboy admires your mental agility, Andy. Um, you know why he's looking down, don't you? Why's that? Because you're adding it up on your phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right My phone calculator, yeah. Oh, they're queens from the chess channel. Ah, gotcha. Oh. Well, of course, Blood Bowl blah, and Chess are very similar, aren't they? Yes. True. Weather doing a thing there. It did, didn't it? Weather did a thing this week. Monday morning, and opened the front door. It's bloody snowing. What the actual flip? Blackburn points out we're all rich in life experiences and should remember the petty concerns of modern life, like Brexit, are not as important as our opportunities to feel happiness, apart from elf coaches, they're scum. Wise, wise words, Blackburn. That was quite profound. I like that. No. No, I do, and they are. No. Yes. I've decided. No. A podiopsis shares the thought for the day. Hubris is a slow and insidious killer. Oh, she tired. Oh, I don't. A bit like that mould that gets underneath the, the sealant in bathrooms. That's a slow and insidious killer of bathrooms, isn't it? PMG, good morning. Um, we are unusually philosophical today. I have no idea why. Oh, have, you, have you tried a, that way? Oh my god, that is a sleepy tired sleepy baby. Sorry everyone, I'll just come off comments for a second. Oh, the confidence is a slow... There's a lot of slow and insidious killers out there. We should write this down. In thousands of years' time, there'll probably be billions of people across the planet following this as a new sort of religion. I imagine. It's going to catch on. I think, yeah, I think as Scientology wanes, you know, if it is waning, I think, is it waning? You hear less, I don't hear about it so much anymore. There's a gap in the market for, you know, new, new ways of spiritual thinking, perhaps. What should we call it? Have we, have we got a name for, for the ethos yet? The Art of Zunk, ooh. I don't know, no, that, that makes, I, I, I'm, I'm just a simple pawn here. I'm a cog in the machine. Oh, hello. I can hear Megatron. Yeah, she's ridiculously tired. Has she been asleep all night? No, she hasn't. Oh, yes, yeah, she's been asleep all night, but she's due a morning sleep now. Um, and she hasn't had a morning sleep. Oh, dear. she came. She came in the room. You know, when you're like you're hanging on for dear life, because um, you don't want to go to sleep, but um, you know you have to. She she had that face on her. Um, it's not really whimsical. Um, I'm not familiar with um, that that level of uh, detail. That this is what the baby's saying. They're not like horses, you know. Where where you know, women will say. And I went down the stables, and he was looking at me over his his stable dog with that look in his eye. You know that look he gets. And it's like, look, you know, it. Your horse has got the intellect that your average. You know, Jack Russell could outwit it, so it's not really thinking what you think it's thinking. It'll be thinking something like, I might need a shit, or I'm a bit peckish, or nothing. <laughs> Horses, not as clever as ladies like to think they are. Mm. They give him an apple, and he give me that little look. It's like, what, chewing? Yeah. My sister's also very fond of rabbits. I, I pointed out to her that she seems to be fond of, of very low intelligence pets. I mean, you know, you give her a sheepdog, wouldn't know what to do with it. Wouldn't know what to do with it. 
Um, Mike's asking, where's Andy gone? There was no pass there. Well, when you're playing against pro elves, you don't want to leave the ball sat on the floor um, or flapping around by itself. So did you eschew the pass on the basis of what if we drop it? Pretty much. No, no, didn't didn't forget. Didn't, like, it was, you're right, del a deliberate, don't do that. Um, because we're already, uh, hang on, calculator time, uh, four players ahead now, so um, we can grind this down. You've got the calculator open there. Yeah. So I've got that. So we just, it's, it's about holding the ball and then not fucking it up rather than um, charge. This, this is a 1 0 win game rather than a than a 2-1 or anything. Let's not get ahead no, of no, ourselves. No, no, that's the strategy. I didn't say that'll be the result. That's the strategy. Ideally, a, ideally a 1-0 win game. Yeah. Well. Yes, 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 yes. Right. Um, Aegis likes horses. Suddenly Madeira sauce pops into my head again. But... Uh, Couldn't eat a full horse. That's what you meant. Um, and Mike has, has, Mike has got a very, uh, very robust working theory that women don't need a smart man. Women don't need men at all, apparently, Machine. I've been in an e-learning. was that Tinder? Same conclusion. I've been Tinder, you know. Well, you do often have to swipe left and right on e-learnings these days. They're, they're very forward-thinking. Oh, Plovac has arrived. Bozdrav, my friend. Bozdrav. And Indio the kitten greets him. Um... With 17 Ooh. mates. Oh shit, there's a fucking player there. Hello, Plovac. How are you? <laughs> I get that a lot. Um, no, no, I'm not alone. He's he's back early from work. Quick, put your clothes back on. When did you ask me? There'll be a Discord message I haven't read yet, isn't there? So there is. I'm awfully sorry, old boy. I was, uh, I wasn't looking at, at that. It doesn't make any noises because it gets annoying after a bit. Discord messages. So uh, no, 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 no. I'm not. Uh, Andy's here. Hey. It is counterintuitive that to point at you, point that way. But in fact, on my screen, you're over here. When you are physically here, you're there. Mm. Mm. Aegis is heading up a, ra a mountain right now. What, seriously? Why? I don't know. Heading up a mountain right now. My mate Steve was downstairs. He likes climbing. He was watching documentaries about um, this bloke who's one of the greatest sort of uh, free climbers, whatever. He was doing this stuff on a mountain, like you know, his 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 entire body weight suspended by two fingers and one nostril, that kind of thing, um, with no rope. And, and uh, apparently, this you know, it, it's impressive, madness, but impressive. And um, it is impressive, isn't it? They, 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 were, they were interviewing all these people, and then Steve was going, of course, he's dead now. He's dead. He's dead. So about 70% of the participants of this sport at any one time are dead. Um, so it is, it is really dangerous. Now, my conclusion, having watched an hour and a half of this bloody program, it was on the Discovery Channel, I discovered that a lot of the top, top, top climbers, it's bloody lucky they're really good at climbing. Because um, charisma, not so much. Oh, yeah, it's uh, climbing's uh, climbing's really uh, really awesome. Uh, uh, yeah, climbing's really awesome. Uh, that's about as far as the interview went, really. And he got quite a good-looking girlfriend. I'm thinking mostly because she was really into climbing, and then she was. Um, you know, on the basis of he's great at climbing, because everything else. Um, the, the other, the other slightly amusing thing is there. There she is, following him around the world, being all devoted, mm. and he, they're asking him in the uh, in the interview. 
So what's you know what's the most important thing to you in the world? What do you love the most? Mm -hmm. uh, climbing. And you know the camera doesn't exactly cut to her face, but she's <laughs> in the background, kind of. Oh. And um, you know. <laughs> I can relate if I, to that. If I, if, I, if I die tomorrow, you know, I don't really mind. She's there, sort of... A bit one-sided, that relationship, it seemed to me. She did seem like a climbing groupie, and more than that, Killjoy. Um, and he was living in a Volkswagen combi, um, which not never a good idea, I, I don't think. Um, PMG says he lacks personality. Oh, that that's not even the long and short of it. Um... In fact, let me message Steve and get the name of the bloke because I'm not I'm not making this making this up or exaggerating in any way. This is straight up. Uh, let's ask Steve. What was the name of the bloke who was <coughs> climbing? We were watching. The one with the fairy tale girlfriend. <laughs> Alex Honnold did E cap. It was like nothing after eight years training. It was nothing after eight years. Hi, Dino, by the way. Um, Blackburn says, what's the most important thing in my life? Me, really. I think. Uh, Aegis, good luck. I think Aegis has fallen off. Happy landings, mate. Climbing Jack, guess it's Killjoy. That could be his nickname. Chikala, thank you very much indeed for the host. Very kind of you, much appreciated. Mm. Cuts to Andy looking sad. Mm. Um, Kelly, Brook, Kelly Brook is very important to me, but not the most important thing, is I've still not actually met her. So oh, it would, it would be, that would be just a bit weird. I see both of you are, are, are adopting the, the well-proven... Um, elongated cage there. That just goes to show it really works. It really, really works. Um, black lights. Oh, shit. The sun's coming up. Could you not just use blackout curtains? Would that help? Probably. Um, what about coffee? I've had a cup of tea. I might have a Red Bull in a minute and then maybe think about a coffee later on. I've got a question that uh, for Hi-Fi Corner that was out pondering with last night. All right. Whilst watching YouTube's, so Logitech Harmony Universal Remotes. Has anybody used one? No. I'm not asking you. You barely use the telly properly. Thanks. Well, you do. Yeah, I know. I don't. Exactly. So why why would you have a universal remote to command a single device? I wouldn't. In fact, I haven't. I wouldn't know Ooh, what to Plovatch, do. Plovatch has got his first subscriber. Congratulations. It's lovely when that happens. Who was it? We can do a special, you know, a special thank you. Oh, Killjoy's got a, um, a Logitech Harmony. Well, I was watching a YouTube's vid about you know how to how to do it, um, and I thought, do I would I need one? Do I need one? Would I need one? Because I'd be, <coughs> I'd only I'd, at the moment I've got two remotes only because the amplifier doesn't have a remote because it predates them. But after that, I'll have a remote for you know effectively the the AVR the the. The new amplifier. And then the um, Blu-ray player will come with a remote. Was the PlayStation, you just used a controller. Um, but he, that's still only four. Oh, I don't I don't think four remote controls is beyond the wit of man to, to handle. 
So yeah, I, I was kind of leaning against it. It looked more novelty than essential. Uh, it's just a hassle. Yeah. Yeah, fair play. Thank you, Killjoy, for the um, consumer feedback. I, w I was pondering a bit. Mm. Blackburn enjoys Nickelodeon and Minecraft on his TV. Um, niche, I think that's described as, isn't it? Uh, give it a couple of years, you'll be about the same. What? Once Mega Drive takes an interest in computing, Nickelodeon and Minecraft. No. That's not going to be a thing. She'll pick it up at um, school. All no. the kids will be doing it. <coughs> not Mega Drive, Killjoy, Megatron. Little pink lass. Follow Works with Andy. Works with Andy. Yeah. Full of the joys of spring, that one. Yeah, Mike's not a, not a ringing endorsement for universal remotes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking not. You just, just don't, then? No, I probably won't. So I was talking to Builder, who solved the problem about um, Wi-Fi uh, wi and the brick wall. Oh yeah, drill hole in the brick, let the Wi-Fi through. Scorcher123 is Plovatch's subscriber. Oh. Big round of applause for Scorcher. Thank you very much for being first to our friend Plovatch. We're good. Ha ha ha. So if you have another daughter, you can call her Sega Master Sister. <laughs> Sega Master. <laughs> Bozdrav. Okay, so what's 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 a shake in for K Fog's chances of stopping your scoring here? Yeah. Machina says get a coffee maker with a remote. Well, I don't really need one. I've, I've got coffee maker. And I'm I'm happy with the coffee making arrangements, um, and I'll, I'll I will continue to use the the stove top coffee maker because of course I'll have a new stove. We want to using that for something, won't I? Making coffee be what could be better? Guido has a quick question for you, Andrew. Where are you setting up? Why are you setting up the cage like that? Uh, because um, I'm trying I to know. make. Because <laughs> I'm making it two dice against if he chooses to char charge in, um, or make the dodge in a six plus. The, um, the key, the key thing being that the guy within the cage who doesn't have the ball um, isn't marked, and so will lend an assist um, to most of the squares in the um, for a potential cage diver. So it precludes a one die cage dive blitz. Is a reason. You can achieve a similar effect if all your cage corners have got guard. Is that fair? This and aren't based. Yes, that's very. So very fair when you when you see when you see, for example, orcs doing this with four black orcs, they won't bother with the elongate, uh, elongated cage often, um, as all all the guys have got guard already. So it's that. So if you look at this, so I've, I've basically done the same thing, but last turn it was north-south as the elongated cage. This turn it's east-west. Um, so imagine attacking the cage from any point. So you can dodge into one of these four squares. Well, the catcher is completely una unopposed. Um, I filled in the squares on the side where the catcher isn't attacking. Um, so it's, it's a uh, five-plus dodge in on the squares in front of the catcher. Okay, with dodge, that's 55% likely to happen. Um, he hasn't got any wrestle, and then it's two dice uphill on a, my blodge player, so he needs a pow and a pow. So it's um, half of a 3% play. So he's got 1.5% play to get the ball off me. It could happen. It's not likely to happen, but it could happen. Mike, Mike is quite, quite right, of course. If you're doing a four-point cage, only two posing corners and <coughs> guards to have the same effects. Yes, indeed. Yeah, that's correct. 
Um, as all my orcs ideally have guard anyway, if it's going well, um, I never really uh, overly th uh, overthink that. But yes, you're you're absolutely right. Oh, the name of that climber, Steve says, is Alex Honold. Honold, H O W N O U L D. Alex Honold. Um, and after listening to him for an hour and a half, he's really dull. He's really boring. <laughs> That's a shame. Uh. Dino normally travels east, west, or north, south. Uh. Well, if you go east, west, you can go a heck of a long way, mate. Oh, no, Plovac, the Anax Honold thing was, um. I'm not a fan. I, I, I'm. I, I can see from the TV documentary that he was frightfully good at climbing, but also insane and really tedious and dull, just conversationally. Because we, we, we were talking about he's punching above his bait, weight a bit with that um, with that lass, but then she was talking and she was a bit she was a bit needy to be honest, but she she was very pretty, you know. Um. Which is nice. I, I think, really, in in his eyes, she was really only there just to make the sandwiches and you know that. Plover asked, "Is is um, does prettiness excuse neasiness?" To to a, to an extent, Plover. Yes, I think it can. It depends how pretty we're talking. I mean, look, Kelly Brook can be as needy as she bloody well likes. Why, hello there again. Wouldn't bother me. Phase. Fifteen months on the bounce. Hello to you too, my friend. Thank you very much. Jakal has just played a match where he's intercepted the ball twice in a row with dwarves against elves. That would burn against the elf for the elf -er. The elf coach, wouldn't it? Oh, we don't plan on that kind of stuff. Well, sometimes you've just got to roll a hard six. Hmm. Good dice. Thank you very much. Five months in a row. What's up, folks? <laughs> it's an awfully good crowd for this time on a Saturday. Isn't that yeah. else on? Telly or something? We're on. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, we're on 15 months and five months. Thank you very much. Face, next month you get the little icon. If you tis, choose to. It is appreciated. appreciated. Oh, apparently d the division is in maintenance. Well, Parage, you know, th their loss is our gain. Nice to see you. Polyopsis says, is this the warm-up game? Well, obviously, I I'm not on till half twelve. So another, another hour and a half for me. Oh, he fell over. Well, he's f oh, he didn't so fall he's, over. Been, he he's been a scoring threat. Yeah. He's already yeah, got some points this game. <sighs> oh, good guys and fan fox are playing in the OI. Oh, that dude, that clashes, and so am I. <coughs> oh. Siege support has arrived. Good morning, siege support. Don't remember speaking with you before. If we haven't, nice to make your acquaintance. And if we have, sorry, I forgot. Pretty sure we have. <laughs> Who's the one that we always say hello to? We're like, oh, we haven't spoke to him before. And then it turns out we have. Uh, he actually changed his name to I Know You Before. Something like uh, that. We've met. Fair enough. I did label it because it was getting ridiculous. Every five months, without fail, he'd pop on and go, Hello, and I'd go, Nice to meet you. And you know, we were talking only five months ago. <laughs> Foolishly, I'd forgotten. <laughs> so now I changed it. I edited it. Oh, we haven't. See support. Well, in that case, wonderful to meet you. How are you doing? <laughs> are you a long-term Blood Bowl fan? Or have you just thought, This looks different. I'll give it a go.
Shelby thinks TD2 can't be worse than Anthem. Anthem getting a lot of hate in the press and amongst the viewers, um, players. Poddy Upsis says, Andy, you're a ballsy motherfucker. Thanks. I know what he's referring to. He's, he, I'm, I'm throwing some shapes that I don't need to, sh to throw. But the opportunity cost of getting rid of one of his um, movement nine elves um, to stop the one turn, otherwise this is going to be potentially a draw, is quite um, quite a thing. Face is asking, what do people think about halflings? Um, more competitive than you'd think is what I think about halflings. Black lights off to bed. Good night, my friend. Sleep well. got to get mighty blow absolutely right well, we haven't lost the game which is important now it's a question of whether it's a win or a draw oh hold on it's pacey ones oh seat sport oh, excellent um uh not sure yet polyopsis so it depends what what because because of, of the sweltering heat you don't know what you're not going to have and so let's see Yali Pond says, you guys seem, um, seen Zero Punctuation's Anthem review. I didn't see Zero Punctuation's. I, which ones did I watch? I watched Angry Joe's, which was pretty good. Um, <coughs> oh, who else did I see? I can't remember the, the name of the fella now. Something Elysium. Enter Elysium, I want to say. Um, a few that I've, I've seen them review other stuff that I was interested in ages ago and thought, yeah, that's reasonable. It's, yeah, the, the whole the whole Anthem thing, it looks like they've, they've sort of rushed a half-assed game out. And it was, a lot of it was, um, Mike, see you later, old boy. Good luck. Um, what was I saying? Anthem, yeah. Um... There was a huge E3 trailer that got everybody all pumped up and excited um, with um, with big stompy attack type things wandering about. Um, and, but loads of stuff that was implied to be f featured in the game really kind of wasn't. And there were other great crimes like it's a, it's a shooter, um, so you, you're going sort of through levels. Later levels, the bosses are just exactly the same but with just the health pool and damage output turned up the wick, up the scale. And it's it's just all those things that um, were acceptable in the 80s, but not so much now. Very disappointing. I'm scratching the um, surface here, the very tip of the iceberg. But yes, it went down like a lead balloon. And um, once the criticism started flooding in, the developers uh, took to social media to um, give the fans a hard time, oh, God. which sounds like a little bit of a mistake. Um, just Joe says, can he post a YouTube link? Yes, absolutely. A meme. Uh, yeah, go for it, mate. Absolutely. But yes, an anthem could have been great. Could have been great. What, um, I, I don't, don't know. I don't know. It. What is it? Is it a Star Wars <coughs> game? Oh, would right. you're, you're a, you're a, you've got a suit on, not like you're going to work, but a exoskeleton type thing yeah. Um, with all like big guns and crash bang and wallop and all that mm -hmm. um, and you can fly there's like a jetpack business okay. and so you you and up to several pals can all um, team up a loot shooter yeah a bit like that well loot shooter I mean what about what about um, god what's it called you know the thing I'm thinking of Loot shooter. Um, the one I play the intro songs for all the time. Uh, uh, the, 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 the Blizzard. The Blizzard. Well, Bl well, Borderlands is a loot shooter, absolutely. Mm. But no, um, pr before that, there was. Um... <sighs> you no, you stamp about hitting things, and they drop stuff, and you're in dungeons and. Stay a while and listen. That. 
you know, it's on the third iteration. Uh, Diablo, that was it. Bang. God, Diablo. <laughs> that was scary. Um, yeah, like Diablo, you know, you, you sort of cr you grind around the place picking up stuff. That. <laughs> I know, Parage. I know. But you see what I mean? Uh, Diablo 3. Well, Diablo 3, I, I, I enthusiastically jumped on and bought it and played it and thought, this actually was the point. And it was um, a big uh, a big slice of it was um, that the loot itself was hugely devalued, that you had the... Um, the uh, auction house. Auction house. Stop it. I'm, on a, I'm fine now. I'm fine now. I just had a blind spot. You had the auction house and real world money and, and, and. And it all just sort of fell apart badly. Um, and then they didn't. They, they rejigged Diablo 3 quite a lot. And then sort of soft relaunched it, didn't they? A, a year or two later. Yeah. But by that stage, I'd kind of got rid of it. Real money auction house, don't you guys have phones? RMA. RMA? RMA. RMA. What's RMA stand for? Uh -huh. Well, Sebios made $250 from the auction house and quit. Well, yeah. I am Pow, good morning. Uh, oh, we can't talk about Brexit, mate. We, we talked about Brexit enough. Real money auction houses are, thank you. I remember auction houses, Blizzard testing the water, that they had them reasonably successfully in World of Warcraft, but that wasn't real money, I don't think. Not when I played it. The one turner is on. Uh, it is. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, well. Well, you called that right. It's like you're not going to lose. It's either 1-0 one or 1-1. One, one. One, one <coughs> one, 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 one. Good show. Yeah. Well executed, but you, you you need. I think I think there's probably quite quite a few folks know how to do it. So the first obstacle is: do you lose your focus and concentration and nerve and, and make a mistake, which are, uh, you know uh, that's a very real threat. And the other thing is that for it to work, you also need reasonable dice. The dice can just stop it at any stage. But the big the big part is. Um, you know, the technical now and then the nerve to keep the focus up and not make a mistake because they're complex for these things, aren't they? Skurometsu, good morning. Wow, well, wasn't real money. No, it wasn't. But I th you see what I mean, though, that Blizzard um, saw the WoW auction house work and thought we could make some cash out of this in Diablo. Uh, 